So when we pull in, since this is a drive-through station, we'll drive in the back and you can see the track goes all the way from the back door all the way to the front. So the firefighter will jump out and he can hook up the system. It's just a magnet, hence the name magnet. So the firefighter will walk up here, pull it down the track, and then as the truck exhaust gets close, he just hooks it up and steps back and it's ready to go. And when the truck starts and takes off, it automatically disconnects as they go out the door. So they don't have to worry about it on their way out, they just have to hook it up on their way in. So this is the dirtiest part of the station. So we call it the hot zone. This is where they come in, they wash the truck, clean out the cab, get rid of the big particles. We've got hoses and various things out here. Ways to clean off and keep the dirtiest stuff on the apparatus. Um, so that's, that's the concept between the hot zone and the warm zone and the cold zone. Um, as they move into the station, there's doors that were propped open earlier today just for the open house but they'll, they'll normally be closed. So the, the air that's in here is pressurized to leave and not go through this way. Uh, the room next to us is pressurized, so that air also leaves and doesn't go into the living room. And then we've got bedrooms. We work 24 hour shifts, so all the crews are here. They start at 7.30 in the morning and they work until 7.30 the following morning. So we have bedrooms they can sleep if there's no runs uh, in the evenings at night. So each bedroom has lockers and a, a TV they can go in there and unwind and relax. Fire manual alert. <laughs> so it, it's not crazy exciting, mm -hmm. but when I started on the fire service 25 years ago, they had a bell. So in the middle of the night, you got awakened by a gigantic gong bell. Boom! It, it, you came flying out of your bed. So cardiac health is another concern for firefighters. So the light in the speaker, and it was probably hard, there's a lot of noise out here, but the light comes on and gradually gets brighter and brighter. The speaker comes on, gradually gets uh, louder and louder. This is where, since they're here 24 hours, they cook a lot of meals here. So they eat here, they watch TV, relax, uh, kitchen table where a lot of stuff happens. We have a patio area, so they've got a grill they can keep out there. The TV you can see is our station alerting system. So that has different information, um, department news. When a run comes in, no matter where it's at in the city, it'll information will pop up there so they can see and have some awareness of what's going on in the rest of the city. You see four refrigerators. So we have three shifts that work, A, B, and C shift. They each get their own refrigerator and they have to take care of their own refrigerator and clean their own refrigerator and then there's an additional refrigerator for a commissary for pop and and various items that that come in as well uh, the station has plenty of covered space because again it was built for two crews ideally so the kitchen wouldn't have to be expanded it seems a little big for one crew but i think they'll fill it up just fine 